we're back with more crypto hey my p investors i hope everybody's having a fabulous day and everybody had a great weekend i was going over some of my mail over the weekend and came upon some questions like what is cryptocurrency i know i dived in into all the news of what's going on in the world with crypto but some people still have questions on what this currency huh? is and what it's doing and who created it so i'm going to take this episode and try to simplify crypto to the simplest form because i know there's a lot of videos out there that explain what cryptocurrency is but they use and throw terms in there that make people think about what they're actually looking at and cannot comprehend or understand anything of what is being said so in this episode we're going to explain what is cryptocurrency and who created it how it was created the differences between proof of work and proof of stake and also the value that it holds how crypto is regulated and where you can buy this cryptocurrency so what is cryptocurrency and who created it basically to leave it in the simplest form of understanding crypto is money but it's in the digital format so you can't see it it's not tangible and it's all located within the computer and as of right now cryptocurrency is not regulated by any government and you can buy any product or service in the businesses that are now accepting it satoshi started this whole idea initially by writing a paper called bitcoin a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system this payment system is based on cryptographic proof instead of trust basically meaning that this proof is based and recorded on a blockchain how do you create crypto great question the term mining for crypto is the equivalent as printing money and anyone can mine the only thing is that it requires a lot of electricity that has to run through the computer so for example bitcoin mining in one year of using electricity uses 127 twh i think that's how you say it but basically it's the equivalent of one year of norway's electricity consumption one year <gasps> The average person in the beginning stages of crypto was easily able to join in on the mine. But now that crypto has grown so big, mining uses a lot of electricity. So now people are in need of special equipment if they want to do so. Now the electricity consumption depends on the way that you mine. There are two ways to mine. One is called proof of stake and the other one is called proof of work now i know what the next question you guys are going to have what is proof of work and what is proof of stake and what are the differences so proof of work and proof of stake basically mean that they are verifying what's being added onto the blockchain so basically if i have to put it in real life examples it's the teller at the bank adding your deposits or withdrawing your deposits from the bank and basically the teller to the best of their knowledge needs to make sure that what you're putting in is not a fraudulent check for example so proof of work uses math problems that is solved by a computer and this is called a block once the block is verified it is added onto the blockchain now each computer that solves these problems is considered a miner and there is a compensation for each problem that is solved in the form of Bitcoin payments or cryptocurrency payment. On the contrary, proof of stake uses the participant to solve these problems and every problem that is solved accurately, those participants get compensated for it as well. The participants are called validators and each participant needs to put up collateral and this is called a stake. And once the computer verifies that the work is done correctly, you get compensated in the form of cryptocurrency. On the other hand, if you do not do it correctly, then you lose that earning plus the stake. <gasps> 
Now, some crypto coins already took up the proof of stake rather than the proof of work because proof of work uses more electricity. On the other hand, proof of stake, people are actually doing more of the work so that you don't have to use all that electricity. Some of the cryptocurrencies that have taken part in this is, for example, Solana, Terra, and Cardano. They all use proof of stake. Ethereum is working its ways to switch from proof of work to proof of stake as well. So what value does cryptocurrency hold? You can do two things with cryptocurrency. One is that you can go ahead and actually purchase products, purchase services with it in the companies and businesses that are accepting cryptocurrency as a form of payment or two you can also hold it as an investment like gold store it like gold it's been called crypto gold so how is cryptocurrency regulated since the government is not regulating it right now as of 2022 the blockchain is an equivalent to a ledger that records all the transactions that are coming in except it's a digital ledger and it is stored on many computers the transactions are translated on the blockchain as a block and all these blocks start connecting like a chain hence blockchain and all these records that are being collected are precise like the ftc is used to protect us from fraud the equivalent of the ftc in crypto is proof of stake and proof of work now, where can you buy cryptocurrency? You can buy them on any exchanges. There are so many now, for example, Kraken, Gemini, Coinbase, but please, please, please make sure that you do your due diligence before investing. 